your data, your profile, you can make the connection. You know who you are, but do others? Who you are and the unique contribution that you make to the academic community can easily be confused with the contribution others make if the only thing identifying you is your name. Of the over 6 million authors in a major journal citations and abstracts database, over two-thirds of them share the last name in a single initial with another author. And an ambiguous name in the same database refers to on average eight different people. This issue is only going to get worse as the number and type of contributors and contributions to the scholarly record increases. But who cares about this? Well, we do here at the Australian National Data Service, or ANS, as do many others, including publishers, institutions, funders, as well as individual researchers. As ANS works towards making Australian research data more findable and shareable, we need to be able to accurately and unambiguously attribute the correct data to the correct contributor. This ensures that credit is given where credit is due, and that others who wish to reuse the data can accurately identify the data producers. But how do we do this? Well, one way is by using the Open Researcher and Contributor ID, or AWCUD. AWCUD was started to solve the name ambiguity issue in scholarly communication. To quote their website, AWCUD is an open, non-profit, community-driven effort to create and maintain a registry of unique researcher identifiers and a transparent method of linking research activities and outputs to these identifiers. ANS uses ORCIDs as one of the ways to uniquely identify individual contributors to our data discovery portal, Research Data Australia. Researchers can create their own ORCID number or institutions can create ORCIDs for their researchers and students. An ORCID profile can contain a list of all a person's academic works plus other identifiers in one central location that can easily be updated by the researcher. Researchers can then attach ORCIDs to their publications, blogs, articles, CVs, reports, data sets, grant proposals, etc. So how do we do this? Well, go to www.orcid.org, create an account for yourself or log in if you've already got one, and then go to your profile. Your profile page, when you start, will be empty, so click on the Import Works button. And then click on the ANS National Collection Registry button, authorise the connection, and this will open a new tab in Research Data Australia. The left-hand side does a simple search for your name and returns any data sets that match. If you think you may be listed with the variation of your name, you can search for that variation here. If any of the returned data sets are yours, you can import them singularly into your ORCID profile by clicking the Import to ORCID button. The right hand side lists all data sets in Research Data Australia that have as a related party your ORCID or the same last name as you. If all of these are yours, you can import them all directly into your ORCID profile with a single click. Research Data Australia will now show that you have imported these data sets to ORCID. So let's go back to your ORCID profile page, refresh it, and hey presto, you and your data are linked. So your data, your profile, and you have made the connection.